So the market has begun to shift and things are getting a little bit easier for buyers again. Thank goodness. So if you're thinking about getting a mortgage, should you get a 15 year mortgage or a 30 year mortgage? How do you even decide? Well, here are some quick tips for you. First thing to note is that the 15 year mortgage offers a lower rate than the 30 year mortgage. This is true since you are going to be paying more on a 15 year mortgage compared to a 30 year mortgage. But take a look at this chart below. This is a scenario where you borrow $500,000 for 15 years versus 30 years. Notice for the 30 year loan, your monthly payment is about $1,000 lower than the 15 year mortgage. However, at the end of the mortgage term, you would have paid over $280,000 more for the 30 year loan. So now the bottom line is if you feel confident and have a steady income and don't have to sacrifice on other expenses such as college funds and emergency funds, then it might be a better choice for you to take the 15 year route. However, if you prefer the lower monthly payments and would prefer making long term plans, then the 30 year rate is definitely the way to go. Remember, you also get the extra years of mortgage interest deductions with the 30 year loan. So whichever path you go, always speak with the trusted lender to find out what the best plan for you and your family is. There's so many different programs out there that you will only benefit from them if you take the time to speak with a mortgage expert. Thanks for watching and if you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos in the future.